Hello everyone, and welcome to I Expect You To Die 2. As you can see, we're in VR. This is pretty cool. Um, I played the first one of these. I played by myself, um, and I'll probably end up playing a lot of this by myself too, like not on the camera, but it is an amazing game. But keep in mind, I received this game for free, which personally I think is ridiculous considering how good this game is. Um, I'm shocked that they're letting such a small creator like myself actually like get the game and be able to play it. Um, I don't record VR videos too often, so if something about this video is off, like quality-wise or flow-wise, I do apologize. Um, in the past, I've tried to like edit them up a little bit. This one, I'm probably just going to play it as per usual, so let's jump in. Now, there's a lot of story to this game, so I'll probably only do the first few levels, but can you hear me? I can hear you. Don't worry, the briefcase is safe. Okay, do you remember the briefcase? No, no, I don't, I don't remember. Might be a bit <laughs> There's a lot of chat. story. We're going to have to listen to a lot of it, but... Need. You're back at headquarters, and you're perfectly safe. You'll find okay. a tape on the desk in front of you. Yep, I found Load it already. The into the projector console on your right. Okay. Um, so I could do that, or we can sort of look around. Oh. <laughs> okay. Some dynamite. What else do we have? We have some pieces of paper. Now... I did a little test recording to see what you guys would be able to see at home because obviously it's you guys are seeing a little bit different to what I see. I can see a lot more vertically than you can, but the um, horizontal parts are pretty much identical. So agent into the projector. Yeah, I I know, but I, you're ready. I, well, I'm not ready yet. Clearly, clearly, I'm not ready yet. Patience, patience. Um, <laughs> obviously, normally if you're playing the game, normally you just put it in and you wouldn't have this this issue. But um, you should be able to see this pamphlet on the left. Like that, and on the right, like that. How's that? Yeah. But then at the top, I can see the entire thing like that, and the entire thing like that. Whereas I feel like it might cut off for you, so I'll try to keep that in mind. But we'll see what happens. Let's um. Now, I oh. imagine you might recognize that bomb disposal device in front of you from your time as a cadet. Uh. In fact, it, given the wear and tear, oh. it might be the same one. It might be. Well, it might be. I'm sure it still works. No, I reckon it does too. Let's see. <laughs> How do I? Oh. Ah, uh, yes. There it this is ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> this is incredibly... You, you don't really know until you hop in VR, but this is incredibly immersive. Right. Disarm this bomb, if oh. you would. Um... Okay. <laughs> Wonderful! Yes. Yeah. Next, the machine yeah. should dispense a grenade for you. Ah, Whoa. there it is. Let's use it to test out that telekinetic... Yes, exactly. Why Look at that. Pick it up See, bring it closer. Now, you, you might think, oh, he's clearly practiced a bit. That was instinct from the last time I played this game. Like, literally instinct. Just to look at it, pick it up, you can move it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. So what does it want me to do? Um, press A or X while holding the object. Good, your okay. Is still working. <laughs> Um, okay. Now to dispose of that grenade. I've got to open this. To place it inside the blast chamber. Yep. So I've actually... And then pick up that remote there is a demo so for this that conference. you can play yourself. Look at this. Um, there is a demo, and so I've played the demo, and a lot of this starting bit is the demo. Um, but... It is fun nonetheless. I... <laughs> if I'm not talking too much, it's because I'm really just taking it in. I really... I'm a fan of VR, and in particularly, this this game is really good because think about it, you're stuck in a chair, right? So, so you don't actually have to have a massive room to walk around with. In fact, I'm very close to like my walls here in real life, but you don't need that much room. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but I'm wearing the hat. Oh. Yep, there we go. That's pretty good. Test, you will need to dispose of three more explosives hidden around the examination oh. room. Good luck. That's a lot That's heavier. So you know what you're looking for. Than that. Suggest That's pretty cool. I don't think I ever noticed that. Oh wow, research. dude! I could literally throw my arm out doing this. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. What does it want me to do? Hover the clipboard. Search I can do that. Okay. Dispose of every explosive. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So I can place stuff there that I need to, like, remember. I don't need to remember this, but y you get the idea. <laughs> so I need to find a grenade, which we did. A gas bomb. A time bomb, which we know was... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, it disappeared. There it is. Okay, here's the time bomb. Um, and an improvised explosive. 
So I know for a fact there's some little secret things that you can open up. Is that the gas grenade? That is. Beautiful. Okay, well, I didn't expect to find it straight away, but what else do we have? Um, one inch wide, ten yards long, um, gouge, bandage, sterile? Okay. Oh, and a cupcake. Can I eat this? <laughs> okay, alright. Let's, um, let's go ahead and take care of business. Chuck that in there. Can I, do you reckon I can do two at once? What do you reckon? I reckon we just jam everything in. So what are we after now? Um, an improvised explosive. Once again, not a clue how this is going to look on your screens, whether you can even read these these words. I didn't check that. Um, I'll read them out loud. <laughs> um, all right. Surely exam. it's over here, Find right? And dispose of every explosive. <laughs> I'll put that in in a second. I think there's a few different things you can do, can't you? See, I'm like interacting with the tap over there. I don't know if you can really see that. That's the hat. Um... Certificate of Achievement? Okay, let's... Let's put that in there. <laughs> oh, if we can. Oh, oh, yeah. There we go. Um, was that the... That was the trigger. We... Oh. That is a bomb. We need to be a little bit more careful with these. Um, so I've currently got my headset on, my VR headset, and then my other headset over the top. So that's where you're actually getting the microphone audio from because the Oculus headset for the Rift S that I'm using isn't the greatest... Um, it works, right? But, um, it's obviously not the same quality, so. There we go. Do I need a... Should I be... No, I can't even lock it. Okay. Ooh. I think we broke the thing. Grab anything else? I've got just about everything I need. What's that? What's that smell? I've got everything under control. Do I get extra points if I roleplay? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, oh. oh, the intros are phenomenal. I, uh, I don't want to talk it through the intro. But, God, this... It's like a musical. As you can see, I mean... Alright, ma maybe I'll just be quiet. We'll leave this in the video, though. I, it is beautiful. Actually, you know what? We're going to cut. We're going to cut. You don't, You guys don't... Get, uh, I'll leave it because you get to see the credits. <laughs> I actually jumped. <laughs> Light in my house as well. I probably shouldn't be yelling, but. I don't know how it's going to feel um, in the video, but when you're wearing the headset, the audio is incredible. And it... Oh, my God. I know this van isn't as These games are so well made. I... But we can't let Zaraxxus know you hmm. survived your last mission. 
You've got a knack for putting a wrench in Dr. Zor's plans, so Zoraxis employees may not react kindly if they recognize you. On the bright side, now you've got a mini-fridge. As usual, Zoraxis Corporation is up to something vile and nefarious, but we haven't been able to figure out what. The Prime Minister is certainly making himself a target. Keep an ear to the radio agent. You never know what they might let slip. Now, your briefing materials should be arriving any second. Ah, where's that blasted courier? Ha! Speak of the devil. Take the cartridge from the tray on your right and load it gently into the cartridge viewer in front of you. Alright. <laughs> I mean, as I was saying, that whole, like, experience is incredible. It's honestly one of my favorite parts of the game. Second to, obviously... <laughs> being able to wear the hats. Um, but it is incredibly well done. They had it in the first game as well. I think with a um, female singer. And it's genuinely beautiful. Um, I I don't remember if I made a video. I might have even made a video on the demo of this. Already. In which case you see the same stuff we've done before. I don't remember. Um, I'm hoping I did just so that you guys know that I'm actually saying how much I love this game based on how much I love this game as opposed to the fact that I received it for free but all that I did was I received it for free nothing else I'm not, I'm not getting paid as far as I know I'm not getting paid I'm, they didn't tell me to say anything um, the only other things was to tag it in the description of the video and whatnot okay they, now he said to put this gently in there oh, I wonder what happens if I just like <laughs> Oh. <gasps> okay, well. <laughs> what else is there? There's a lot of secrets. And I think there's genuinely, like, actual secrets you can find. Um, to do with different things. Oh. Speedrun watches. Oh, so is this, like, the hub? Oh, and those are my missions. That's where my missions are going to go. Okay. So you can get some speedrun watches? I guess wear them. That's pretty cool. Alright, well. I guess we've looked around. There's probably some more secrets. Like, what's down here? Oh, an apple that I just ate. By the way, did you see how I ate that orange? That was phenomenal. I just ate the whole apple. Okay, well. Let's, um, now, our intel get started if we can. The Prime Minister is attending an event in Manhattan tonight. My instincts say Zoraxis will try something there. And my instincts are only wrong about half the time. <laughs> oh, and the event is hosted by Hollywood actor John Juniper. <laughs> Oh, ah. such a fan. His performance in Marigolds of Forever was so... Um, excuse me. Let's get you undercover so we can figure out what Zorak... Alright, so this guy's a big fan of this guy. Marigolds I have a hunch that this guy's going to be the bad guy, right? I mean, it, it looks like he's meant to be the bad guy. He's... Surely. And so, like, he'll be the bad guy, but then our guy won't want to stop him or something? I don't know. Um, Alright, let's start. And you know what? We're actually going to enter here. Um, I think that was a fairly decent length for uh, the first video and, and to, I guess, uh, test it out. I don't want to make the video too long because the longer it is, especially with new style of content, I, I think the more scared people will be able to check it out. So we'll keep this one relatively short. Um, I did play the next, I believe, two missions. Um, I obviously had fun doing it, as you can gather from the uh, first ones. Um, they are a bit slower, mainly because... Um, I don't know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of thinking. I don't know whether I'll cut out the thinking parts or whether they'll just be raw gameplay, just long bits of me trying to figure out what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, obviously you can, please do consider subscribing. Um, but let me know if you enjoyed it because um, I quite enjoy the game. I haven't played any off-camera yet, but um, if this video doesn't do too well, I'll probably just play the rest off-camera and won't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I like the game. Obviously, up to you guys if you want to check it out. I, I definitely highly recommend it. Um, once again, the only thing with this video was that I received the game for free. And, and they did expect me to make a video on it. I didn't have to, in theory. Um, it was more so like, if I figured out... If, if I played it and decided I couldn't make content for it, I just wouldn't make a video. But I enjoyed it. I think this video turned out alright. So, um, yeah, all the opinions are obviously my own. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if some, some of it was influenced a little bit by the fact that I got it for free, so do keep that bias in mind, I guess, um, if you're considering getting the game. Um, but yeah, uh, th that's pretty much it. Um, 
I, I, I pretty much watched through this whole video um, in the editing. I, I clearly didn't edit much, but um, just to see how it flowed. And I don't think it was too bad. Um, yeah, I, I, I quite enjoyed watching it. <laughs> hopefully you guys did too. Um, yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.